Okay, welcome back. Mr. Vosters here. So we left off. We had just added windows, doors, um, and we kind of adjusted the floor for our shed. In this video, we're going to be documenting everything we've created so far. So we're going to create some drawings um, and we're going to use the sheets function to do that. So first thing you're going to do is going to find in project browser where it says sheets you may have to scroll down a little bit so then we will right click that and we'll do new sheet we want it to be uh, b 11 by 17 horizontal so once you find that one click it and then click ok so that's going to create your new sheet it's got a title block down at the bottom it's got a bunch of information that we can fill in so let's go ahead and do that so the client is going to be you you're building this for yourself so i'm going to put my name mr rosters project name this is just going to be whatever you're building i'm building a utility shed if you're building a different type of shed then you're going to put that there so i'll put utility shed here again let's zoom in a little bit our project number, we're just going to put the activity number, and this is going to be 2.1.3. The date, just put today's date or the day that you're doing the drawing. So for me, that's uh, October 10th, October 11th, sorry, 2023. Drawn by, that's going to be your name. And then the checker, you're going to put your teacher's name, or in this case, Mr. Vosters. All right, so our sheet is looking good. Notice when we updated this field over here, it updated the title of our sheet. That's fine. Uh, that's actually what we want to happen. So let's just pan back a little bit. Sorry, I'm without my mouse. Uh, so it's going to be a little wonky, kind of navigating here, but I'll do my best. So the first thing we're going to add to our sheet is our 3D uh, image. So let's go back to 3D. We want to first kind of orient it how we want it to look. So I do want it to show my brick side and my siding. So that looks good. We can zoom in a little bit. I'm going to get rid of that panning wheel. Now from here, I do want to get rid of some of this other stuff so we can hide that. If we hold down the control key and click everything we want to hide, we can kind of do that. So let's hide all of this stuff. And then I'm going to go down here next to the little glasses symbol, and we're going to hide those elements. So click hide element, and then we're going to apply that. So all we're left with is our nice little shed let's uh, try to get that centered looks pretty good now before we move it over to our sheet we need to edit the crop region so first we need to show our crop region looks like right now it is right there so yours may be humongous you want to basically edit this crop region so that it's nice and close And then we're going to finish that. And we'll click this so that it goes away. So we're hiding it again. Then we'll go down to our sheet. Uh, that would be a utility shed. It should also be up here in your tabs. And then we're going to find our 3D view. We're going to click and drag that into our drawing. We're going to put it up in the top right. So oh. if you did your crop region correctly, you'll get a nice shape uh, for this. If you didn't edit that crop region, you're going to get this humongous shape that tries to put inside this little sheet. It's going to be kind of problematic. So you want to make sure you do that crop region editing first. Um, if you don't do that, you also get this title block like way at the bottom somewhere over here. Maybe this line will be super long. So putting in the work ahead of time 
to get it how you want it is going to help you in the long run. Once we've got our 3D view, now we can get our floor plan in there. Before we do that, we're just going to delete uh, this A101. So if we try to move the floor plan in before we delete this, it's going to like not be happy with us. So just click on that and then hit the delete key on your keyboard. And let's see if it'll work now. So go and double click on the floor plan. We're going to have to do the same thing we did with the 3D um, view where we kind of adjusted it, our crop region uh, beforehand. So go ahead and show the crop region. So make sure it's visible here it is for us. We don't have the grips that we need um, over here. So you're going to have to go to the properties tab and if you scroll down we should be able to edit our view range right now actually cancel that right now we can't edit it because we have this selected so views overall if we click switch that to none and then i believe that will give us the grips and it looks like it did so now we should be able to actually shrink our crop region to just include the things that we want. All right, so that's looking pretty good. However, we still have all this random stuff over here. So in order to get rid of that, we have to do an annotation crop. So the annotation crop, we're gonna need to edit that. So let's go back. And our annotation crop looks like it's this outer one. So we want to hug that in right next to our normal crop region. We'll see how that looks. Before we totally move forward, let's try to adjust these dimensions of hair so they're a little closer to the building. So just click the corners, just like so. That one's pretty good. I'm not going to worry about the one on the left. Okay, now that we did that, let's move this up a little bit. Move this one down a little bit and we want it to be super close by so that everything is kind of compact. And before we jump over to our sheet, let's go ahead and switch our scale from one eighth inch equals one foot to one fourth of an inch equals one foot. That's going to make it a little bit bigger on our sheet, which is exactly what we want. So go back to your sheet and then. We're going to click and drag the floor plan over kind of to the left of our 3D view. So something's not quite right. But still has this really huge uh, space. So this is kind of what I was talking about in the last one. You get your title way down here, your crop box is like humongous. So let's undo that and then we'll see if we can go back to our floor plan and try to make sure that everything is out of the way so the region the reason it wasn't happy is we still have this thing out here this is a section line so let's see if we can adjust our settings to get rid of that so first off we don't want our crop region visible let's get rid of that and then from there let's turn our view range let's edit our view range Let's just switch those to unlimited. Apply and then click OK. Let's make our crop region visible one more time. Um, and what we can always try, since this doesn't seem to want to go away, we can just hide this element and see if that helps. So if we do this, apply or hide. Then we go back to here. Let's try it now, see if that works any better. Okay, it's looking much better, much more compact. We don't want the crop region visible. So you can actually double click here and it'll go into the editing mode. So let's turn that off in the properties menu. And then we should be able to maybe hit enter. We want to get back to our shed so let's just close out of this and open it back up and it should be all good to go okay 
So we've got our floor plan, we've got our 3D view. We can even move this uh, up a little bit, just click and drag the number and then move it like so. And then next we're gonna add some elevations. Let's move this up a little bit more, just so we have room for our elevations below. We've got our elevations. They should be over here. Where did they go? Oh, here they are. So we're gonna add the east elevation and the south. Before we do that, we wanna make sure our crop region is looking good. So let's turn that crop region on, and then let's just shrink it a whole bunch. So in order to do that, remember, we're going to have to turn this scope box from uh, view to none, and then we'll kind of scrunch everything in. We do want uh, these heights for the levels to show, so I don't want to crop those out. It looks like they'll stay if I just kind of scrunch that in. So that's perfect. I'll get this real nice and tight so that we're not taking up too much space. These could be a problem, I'm thinking. So let's uh, do an annotation crop, see if that can take care of it. Clipping. No, that's not what we want. Let's just go ahead and hide these elements. So we'll click and drag kind of over them from bottom right to top left. Click the glasses, hide that element. And then we're gonna apply that hide. All right, let's make our crop region invisible so we get rid of that box. Go back to your utility shed and then we should be able to just drag that elevation. Looks like it's already on 203. We're just going to delete those elevations in 203. Let's delete actually all the elevations. So 202, 204. Otherwise, we're going to keep getting those same errors. So now we can take our east elevation that we just modified. That should be 1 8 inch equals 1 foot. Looks like it is, so that looks good. Um, now we just need to do the same for our south elevation. So we're going to switch our scope box from views overall to none. Get everything nice and close. And do we have any section views we need to worry about? It doesn't look like it in this one. So let's turn off our crop region. And then let's go ahead and try to drag this one in. See how it looks. Looks pretty good. Let's try to get it lined up with the other one. Looking good. And that should be it for this drawing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.